Okay, last time I showed you guys the house here, it was in a lot better shape than it is right now. We're in the middle of our kitchen remodel. And one of the best pieces of feedback I got from you guys on the home tour video was that we should switch out our gas stove for an induction cooktop. And so that's what we're doing right now. We have this gas line right there, that yellow thing that comes down, and we're gonna install instead a 240 volt outlet and plug in an induction cooktop. So no more gas in here. And I found out that actually there's this federal program that will help you get rebates on things like that. So what I want to do today is just walk around the house and show you all the different rebates that are available, the ones I'm going to take advantage of, and then how you could do the same for yourself. Let's go. Okay, so the induction cooktop is one. Another one here is the water heater. This is a gas water heater, and they have a couple different versions of electrified versions of that, but the one that I'm interested in is called a hybrid water heater, where it's still tanked like this. It still has the hot water in it sitting there, but it uses electricity to do it using a heat pump. It's much more efficient, much cheaper than this one is, and lasts just as long and works basically the exact same way. It fits in the exact same place. There are other electric ones, but it turns out the other requirements to make those work we're just kind of outside of the realm of what we wanted to do so that's a big one right there and then you guys know about batteries I've been working on this for a while I'm actually working with this company Franklin here to update this system and have that but there's more to come on that I'm not ready to talk about that but there is a now a 30% federal rebate on batteries and out here we have my electric panel which is not in the best shape if you guys could see what this looks like here it's pretty pretty bad and so in fact updating this is something that you can get a rebate for as well now on the other side of the house here we have another water heater behind this it's not a giant house but it is spread out enough to where on one side of the house it would just take forever for hot water to get there so we have two hot water heaters so so far what we're looking at is the electric panel two hot water heaters and that induction cooktop but let's see what else is available on this program Okay, but before we get deep into all of the details of this new program, I wanna talk about one other way that I'm upgrading my home, and that's with today's sponsors, Aper, who makes this really cool cordless vacuum for my pool. We recently redid our pool after the old plaster was really dead and it was actually causing some problems with the filter and everything like that. And so we got Pebble Tech in there now and I wanted to make sure after redoing it, putting all that time and money into that, that we had a smart, good, solid way to make sure it stays clean. And that's where Aper comes in with the Seagull Pro. This thing is really awesome. You plug it in and charge it, and then on the top it has a little dial where you set exactly what you want it to do. It can clean just the bottom, just the sides, or the bottom and the sides, which is what I always have it do. I want it to clean basically the whole thing. And then I drop it in, it sinks to the bottom, and once it gets there, it starts its thing. It starts going, and I've had these in the past, the corded robots where they get tangled. Eventually they can't reach all the way across the pool, and so this one is just a much better system. Plus, with the corded one, I was always afraid if you got in the water, even touched the water, you've got an electrical line running in there. And if you're unfamiliar, the old style suction robots that would plug into your skimmer, those really don't work nearly as good as these ones. These ones not only clean up the dirt and debris on the bottom, but they also brush the edges, including the water line. It's all possible because of the new tech that they have built into these machines. And inside of it is the basket. So you don't have a separate basket or anything else. It all just kind of goes right there in this neatly packaged unit. And one of the things that I was thinking about when I first got this was, um, how do you get it out of there? And it's kind of smart. It has like a sensor where it detects where the wall is. So it will park near one of the walls. And then they send you this little hook that you just put on the end of a pole so you can reach in and grab it. So it's actually really easy. At first I thought, um, did they think this through? But they totally did. So in addition to the ability to drain really fast and be really efficient, it also just does a great job. My my pool has never been cleaner thanks to the Aper Seagull Pro. So yes, while these things can be expensive, it is one of those things that saves you time and it just frankly does a better job than I can do on my own. I used to spend hours doing this each week. Now I drop this guy in there and I don't even have to think about it. So for me, that is an easy investment that I will do all day long. And for being a viewer here, Aper is going to hook you up. Check the link in the description down below and make sure to get this going now so that way your pool can be nice and clean and and ready to go and you can save a bunch of time in the process. I'm a huge fan of that. So I hope you check it out. Now back to the video on the rewiring America stuff. 
Okay, so here on rewiringamerica.org, we can take a look at all the different savings that are out there. This comes from the Inflation Reduction Act, and it's really kind of nuts. So you go there, and then you click on this IRA savings calculator thing. You punch in your zip code and your homeowner status, your income, your tax filing status, and your household size. You click calculate, and then you get a number here. So for me, punching in my numbers, we're looking at about $25,000 in savings. And some of these are up front. I really like this, how you can actually take some of these prices and actually reduce them up front. You don't have to just apply for a tax credit later. It doesn't always work for everyone based on their income. So from this, it's kind of neat. Now looking down here, I mentioned that we have already the electric panel, which there is a $4,000 rebate for efficiency rebates, which are other things you can do to your house to make sure it's not leaking energy and anything like that. You can do the electrical wiring of $2,500. The heat pump water heater that I mentioned of $1,750. I'm not really sure if that is just for one or if you can have multiples like in, in my situation. You also have a weatherization update of $1,600. The induction cooktop that I mentioned to switch over from gas is $840. So that's pretty good. It doesn't cover the whole cost, but hey, it's something. And then a heat pump clothes dryer, which I know everybody was really on me about this in the last video about switching over from a gas dryer. I don't know why. It does rain here sometimes. Everyone said, just, you're in Southern California, go outside and hang your clothes. And uh, yeah, I guess, um, <laughs> but not always. Um, so a heat pump clothes dryer, yes, it's on the list. It, it's coming, um, not today though. So $840 there. So that's all the stuff that's about electrifying your home. And again, why would you do that? Not just to be some tree hugger, whatever, but because I can make my own fuel. Once I get my solar panels and my battery set up, if everything's electric, if the grid goes down, if they cut off my gas or whatever it is, I'm going to have a more bulletproof setup. One where I can still heat and cool my home. I can still use my clothes dryer. I can still cook. My fridge works. Everything works because it all runs on electricity and I make my own electricity. So it's not so much about the planet and all that. Yes, those are benefits, but it's more about independence and freedom. And that's what I like to call a bulletproof life. And to recall, there are three main areas of a bulletproof life. There's your health, there's your home, and there's your finances. This one being squarely focused about your home, it's something that I really hope everyone can get on board with. Okay, so then you have tax credits on top of that, right? We talked about battery storage installation, 30% off. If you were to look at a system like the one I have, you're upwards of $30,000 depending on install and everything like that. 30% off, that is a huge dollar amount. There's also some other things in here that don't actually work for us, like geothermal heating where I live, it doesn't make sense. A new EV, 7,500 bucks off depending on uh, where it's made and all those kind of things. Rooftop solar, that's extended. I am getting more solar, so 30% there. There's even credits for a used electric vehicle now. So that's really amazing because now you don't have to be buying that brand new Rivian or Tesla or Lucid or whatever. You can get a Nissan Leaf or a Chevy Bolt or one of these other ones and still get money off. So there's so much here that I wanted to just kind of highlight this and tell you about my specific situation and point you to this resource so that that way you can learn about it and you can take advantage of it. But if you don't remember the home tour and how we got here, check out this video over here where I walked through our current setup and everything that we're looking to change to make our life more bulletproof. Thanks for watching guys. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you back here next time.